a documentary about one of my favorite artists that only I think only had one hit in America. He had many hits in other parts of the world, but his name is Taco. Um, he was born 21st of July 1955, known as just as Taco, is an Indonesian Dutch singer and entertainer who started his career in Germany. So let's talk about some of his early life. Taco was born in J-A-K-A-R-T-A, Indonesia, on the 21st of July, 1955. He spent many of his childhood years moving around the world, residing in the Netherlands, the United States, Singapore, Luxembourg, Belgium, and Germany. He attended the International School of Brussels, Belgium, and graduated in 1973. Afterwards, he studied interior decoration and finished acting school in Hamburg. He had lead roles in numerous school productions including You're a Good Man, Charlie Brown, Carousel, The Fantastics, and The Fiddler on the Roof. In 1975, he began his first professional theatrical engagements in Hamburg. This included roles in children's theater and roles as an assembly member of the Thalia Theater, T-H-A-L-I-A in a number of plays including Sweet Charity Chicago and Three Musketeers. He also directed and choreographed for the musical Not Child in 1979. He played Chino in John N-E-U-M-E-I-E-R-S if you can pronounce that. In the West Side Story at Hamburg Opera House, he founded his first band, Taco's Biz, in 1979. In 1981, Taco signed his first record contract with Polydor in West Germany for two record releases, whereon he released his first single, Putting on the Ritz, which was the hit in America, which in 1982 was issued by RCA Records for U.S. release. His version of the song also had pieces of other Irving Berlin songs, such as White Christmas. The single was widely played throughout the U.S. by late summer of 1983, eventually peaking at number four in September of 1983 on the Hot 100, as well as number one on Cashbox. Although the single eventually earned him a gold certificate or certification for selling over 1 million copies. It was Taco's only top 40 hit in the U.S. In 1983 and 1984, he toured extensively throughout Europe. While the single Putting on the Ritz topped the charts in, charts in Sweden and New Zealand, it entered the top five in numerous countries, including Norway, Australia, and Canada. His subsequent album, after eight was released in over 40 countries and managed to reach number four in Norway, number five in Canada, and number 11 in Australia, and number 17 in New Zealand, number 23 in the United States, and number 59 in Germany. The album earned Taco a number of gold records, including one in Finland for selling over 25,000 copies. Taco's second single, Singing in the Rain, was a moderate success, peaking at number 49 in Germany, number 46 in Canada, and number 98 in the UK. He appeared as a guest on The Merv Griffin Show, Alan Thicke, Solid Gold, Good Morning America, and Bob Hope, and the Bob Hope TV special, and many other TV shows while touring. Taco's follow-up album, Let's Face the Music, was recorded in 1954 for Polydor, which peaked at number 58 in his home, of West Germany and managed to enter the top 100 in Canada, peaking at number 92. Taco continued to record, focusing mostly on the German market with albums, Swiss swing classics, In the Mood of Glenn Miller in 1985 and Tell Me That You Like It in 1986 for Polydor. In 1987, he recorded the self-titled album Taco. In 1989, he briefly flirted with contemporary dance music by releasing 
a pair of singles, Love Touch and Got to Be Your Lover, that were styled after the high energy disco sound popularized by Stock A I T K E N Waterman. Afterwards, he repositioned himself as a swing soul singer. He has collabor- collaborated with Geff Harrison and Ken Ping Me. Between 1989 and 1996, Taco worked as an actor. He had television acting roles in, and these are a bunch of, uh, I'm not sure if they're French movies or they're Dutch, but he appeared in several of them. He also appeared as Chico in the theater production of Marx Brothers radio show and played lead roles in Shakespeare, rock and roll, in Berlin and Shakespeare as we like it in Australia. He currently resides in Germany performing with his band and as a gala artist. On October 11th, 2009, the first channel of Russian TV, One TV, filmed the program Songs of the 20th Century. Toko appears with putting on the Ritz in the sequence about the 1930s to show. The show was broadcast on January 2010. On the 27th of November 2009, he performed Putting on the Ritz and Singing in the Rain at the Olympic Stadium in Moscow, Russia. Furthermore, he was the star guest in the New Year's Eve show in 2009 of, on Russian TV, which had about 84 million viewers in more than 20 countries. In July 2010, Cleopatra Records Los Angeles released an entirely New re-recording of Putting on the Ritz. Taco's vocals were recorded in Germany and the backing tracks with top studio musicians in their studio in LA. On the 1st of March 2011, Ding Ding Music released the original song Timeless Love that was written and produced by Edgar Rothermick and Mathis M U E T M U I can't spell. M U E N T E F E R I N G. In the late 1980s, the studio recording that Taco performed as a duet with the singer Rosa Wortham in Berlin was remixed in late 2010 in the U.S. and is now available for download. And he has a lot of uh, a lot of his records um, didn't reach number one in America. And I'm pretty sure that they wanted him to move to America, but he didn't want to. But he does does have a lot of albums. But um, I will be making a video uh, where I'm reacting to some of the restored music videos of his. But if you all like this and you want to know any more information about Taco, let me know in the comments. Thank you all for watching, and keep on rocking.